Jupiter, a terrifying planet hailed as the dark horse of our solar system, conceals many secrets like a tightly shut book, mysterious, dark, deep, and silent. Like a convoluted jigsaw puzzle that refuses to fit together, the mystery of the violent storms that rage across the tumultuous planet with a magnitude large enough to cover the entire planet Earth continues to baffle experts. The latest groundbreaking discoveries about Jupiter have left scientists shaken and worried. Like a Rubik's Cube that refuses to align, the universe keeps throwing one riddle after another when it comes to tracing the treacherous turbulence of the weather patterns on Jupiter. Join us as we dive deep into the mysteries of this mysterious planet to shed light on the latest terrifying discoveries and debunk some inaccurate theories. What separates Smith from reality when it comes to Jupiter's raging tempests? Scientists at NASA are stumped and searching for answers. For the scientists and experts at NASA, images captured by the Juno spacecraft mission that brushed past the perilous planet in August 2020 raise more questions than answers about how such massive storms are generated in its peculiar atmosphere in the first place. The revolutionary compilation of information and images by NASA which were captured by the Juno spacecraft are already creating a buzz in scientific and research circles. The high-resolution images are creating ripples across previously known knowledge about the mysterious planet that also happens to be the largest in our solar system. This innovative discovery involves NASA and its team of researchers examining and scrutinizing the planet's massive storms and how they would appear at close range, chilling as that is to fathom. For perspective, let's talk about the Great Red Spot. Discovering the existence of this giant storm on Jupiter was a significant event. According to NASA, a timeline of 300 years marks the observation of this huge storm that is the size of two Earths combined. Recent images paint an ominous picture with a swirling white oval surrounded by other swirling cloud formations that traverse the distance. Dark clouds are interspersed with lighter clouds that are above them in a twirling and churning mass. However, dark colored clouds are below the lighter clouds on Jupiter. The team of experts succeeded in carrying out these pioneering and terrifying observations at this point in time because the compilation of these images is fairly recent. Size does matter. NASA's findings are mystifying. They have also detected and shed light on the shocking differences that lie between the storms that rage across our planet from those that pummel Jupiter with an otherworldly force. The observations also raise some big question marks on the factors that play out in the formation of the storms on both planets that are not only astonishingly diverse in composition, but also outrageously different in terms of their atmospheres. These discoveries throw a major curveball. While low pressure centers play a major role in the origin and generation of hurricanes and cyclones on the third rock from the sun, planet Jupiter paints a different story, with high pressure being at the root of most of its monstrous storms. Exactly how big are these mammoth storms and how long do they last? The findings are chilling. The blustery and volatile storms ravaging Jupiter have powerful timelines that carry on for years, not a number of mere days or weeks. Each storm rivals and sometimes exceeds the size of planet Earth, according to NASA. So what processes were involved in this type of intense study of the planet? March 1, 2023 marked a significant event. Spacecraft Juno's mission was able to conclude its 49th flyby of the gas giant. The Juno mission is the brainchild of NASA. It was initiated on August the 11th in the year 2011. The solar-powered spacecraft aims to crack one of the biggest mysteries that continues to baffle scientists. Juno is equipped with a variety of cutting-edge instruments. Juno Cam is one of them. Volatile cyclones with their powerful force were festering in an area known as Jet N7 on Jupiter. Juno Cam was able to zero in on the bands of high-altitude haze originating over the turbulent area from its distance of 5,095 miles or 8,200 kilometers. The high-resolution image that was taken from a point that was located above Jupiter's cloud tops was put through processing by citizen scientist Bjorn Johnson. Juno's probe's arrival at Jupiter dates back to July 2016. Since then, the spacecraft has been involved in a monumental mission to lift the murky veil from the mysterious phenomena that have continued to play out below Jupiter's dense swirling clouds. It aims to study the planet's atmosphere and magnetosphere. Unnerving Discoveries Despite vast differences, there are some uncanny similarities between our planet and the enormous planet 
whose belly can be filled with all the other planets of our solar system combined. You can even throw in 1300 more planet Earths along with all these other space bodies to get a good fit. So immense is the size of this gaseous giant. Both the planets experience the phenomenon of lightning with startling commonalities. Juno Probe's latest findings unleashed a shocking discovery, enabling investigators to arrive at the conclusion that the process of lightning on distant Jupiter effectively resembles that on Earth. The lightning initiation process on Jupiter replicates a rhythm comparable to that of Earth. The pulses and periods of time, which span around a millisecond separating the flashes, are not too different from our earthly thunderstorms either. Picture the dense and acrid ammonia clouds of planet Jupiter with their murky brown color where several spacecraft have detected the sinister sightings of lightning. So what explains this spine-chilling sight? After studying the findings and data obtained from Juno spanning a period of five years, scientists attempt to explain the strange occurrence. The planet's pungent ammonia clouds conceal a secret. Right below these very clouds lie more clouds that are composed of water much like planet Earth. The lightning originates in these clouds following a course that is quite similar to our planet. Other studies also back up the findings by NASA and their team. At the Czech Academy of Science Institute of Atmospheric Physics located in Prague, planetary scientist Ivana Kolmasova is also working to uncover one of the greatest riddles that has continued to perplex scientists. What exactly transpires in thunderclouds? Clouds carry ice and water particles within them. These particles accumulate to form deposits following collisions. The accumulated particles carry a charge which shares the same polarity. So exactly how is lightning discharged? Simply put, the resulting electric field from the entire procedure facilitates the lightning discharge. Lightning with an eerie green hue was captured by JunoCam on December 30, 2020. NASA elaborates that the storm clouds on Jupiter pretty much contain an ammonia water solution. The green hue is most likely the result of ammonia burning in oxygen. It is near Jupiter's poles where the lightning activity mostly takes place. Do storm clouds extend far down? The findings are staggering. Juno's data point towards the discovery that clouds' elongation can cover a distance of 60 miles from the cloud top. The great red spot shines the torch on an even more astonishing find. Its clouds run to a confounding depth of 300 miles. That's gigantic when set parallel against storm clouds on Earth, which can extend to a relative range of 11 to 13 miles. Researchers are keen to put two and two together and came up with a theory to explain the weather trends. Despite their stark differences, a study of ginormous giant Jupiter can provide great insight into weather phenomena on our planet. The Great Red Spot, is it shrinking? Despite strides to uncover some of its macabre marvels, Jupiter remains an electrifying enigma with extreme and volatile weather. The composition of the planet predominantly includes hydrogen and helium, as well as traces of other gases. Its colossal mass has a diameter of roughly 88,850 miles. A swirling mass of crimson-hued storm clouds known as the Great Red Spot is one of Jupiter's most distinguishing features. The whirling and twisting clouds spin in a counterclockwise motion at incredibly high speeds. The storm is spread about 10,000 miles or 16,000 kilometers. However, it is the length for which this raging tempest has lasted that will absolutely blow you away. According to experts, the storm has raged on for centuries. Scientists have been chewing at the riddle that the extreme storm presents without arriving at any viable conclusions. The Juno spacecraft has again brought new research to the surface. Storm clouds of the Great Red Spot stretch down a lot deeper than previous assumptions. The prevailing trends of Earth's down atmosphere had provided fodder for these assumptions according to which Juno's depth was presumed to be shallow. At the Southwest Research Institute in Texas, Scott Bolton, who has authored a published study based on Jupiter in the journal Science, is a man on a mission. Bolton marvels at the sheer size of the storm, calling it the biggest one in existence in the entire solar system. The researcher, who is enthralled at the beauty of it, is also an admirer of how unique and how much of a rarity the storm is. Major Revelations But Bolton is shaken. Juno's penetration inside the elusive workings of the planet has sprung some pretty major revelations on the scientific community. The window that has opened researchers' eyes to what lies underneath the stormy cloud, tops of Jupiter, 
could not have been possible without an instrument known as the microwave radiometer. The vortex storms of Jupiter have been put under rigorous investigation. The storms run to an astounding depth. Take the Great Red Spot's roots, for instance. They go way down below, much deeper than the expanses of water condensation or cloud formation. They penetrate to a depth where the last vestiges of sunlight fail to reach. What has also been revealed is that the jet streams that are prevalent in the planet's atmosphere plunge to 2,000 miles or 3,200 kilometers. Another author who published her study in the same journal is Marzia Parisi at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory based in California. According to Parisi, the width of the Great Red Spot is expansive enough to swallow the Earth. That's massive! The humongous hurricane continues to lash Jupiter's southern atmosphere as we speak. Scientists continue to grapple with questions surrounding the tempest's extraordinary longevity. Each rotation of the cyclonic storm concludes in an equivalent of six days on planet Earth. Ferocious gusts of wind that blow at 270 miles per hour keep its momentum going. Some believe that the atmospheric conditions that are at play on the planet are a potent contributing factor to the storm's extraordinary long spell. Cracking the mystery of Jupiter's complex climate has been a painstaking task. Slowly but surely, scientists are inching closer to a greater understanding of its intricate makeup. An understanding of the violent tempest is crucial if researchers are to come to greater grips with complicated concepts, such as fluid dynamics, as well as the complex cycles involved in cloud and storm formations and other dynamics related to the atmosphere. Is the Great Red Spot Shrinking? Another alarming feature has reared its head in recent times. The Great Red Spot appears to be diminishing and shrinking, albeit at a slow pace. The fate of the miraculous hurricane hangs in balance, as it has experienced a gradual drop in its size. Over the past century, its size has undergone a massive shift by about 50%. What will become of the storm eventually? Scientists are divided about which way the ship will sink. A plethora of mixed opinions is under circulation. As per some scientists, the Great Red Spot could take on different characteristics and morph into an altogether new atmospheric feature. Some speculate about its doom and eventual dissipation and disappearance. Jupiter and its infamous tempests are a celestial Pandora's box, hiding many more dark mysteries that shall be unveiled with future missions, such as the European Space Agency's JUICE, Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, slated for launch in the latter part of the 2020s. The planet that cannibalized other planets. It seems like planet Jupiter has a pretty grisly past. While that might be a bit of an exaggeration, evidence suggests that Jupiter might have swelled to its ginormous size by guzzling on other planets. Jupiter's mammoth gravity might have something to do with this unsettling information. Astronomy and astrophysics published a study that lent support to the notion that smaller baby planets might have been consumed by the gas giant, crowning it with the title of the biggest planet in the solar system. The planets might have been pulled by the bigger planet's gravity. The contents of the planets were closely investigated. The study, which was authored by 16 scientists, shone the light on some vital info. A variety of heavy elements were detected beyond the planet's layer of gas. These could be the remnants of former tiny planets that Jupiter has preyed upon, in a sense. The information was made available to scientists via the Juno probe, which supplied them with gravitational data. Upon making further inroads into the chemical composition of the metals detected, scientists were able to detect the presence of foreign bodies. These foreign bodies or smaller planets are also identified as planetesimals. Ever wonder why these teeny-weeny planets did not suffer a massive collision with the giant? The fact that Jupiter is composed of gas and wields a super-powerful gravitational pull might have sucked the planets into its belly or core right from its birth, making it snowball into the massive giant that it is now. Earlier theories have now been debunked, which speculated that the gas giant might have blown up in size due to space pebbles. Whatever smaller planetesimal crossed Jupiter's path became part of Jupiter. Jupiter's moon, Ganymede Hold on, things are about to get spookier. While Jupiter is fascinating, here's another tidbit that will leave you amazed. One of Jupiter's 80 to 95 moons, Ganymede is a marvelous body that warrants a research all its own. The moon that has an icy surface holds the title of the largest moon in the solar system. It exceeds the planet Mercury in terms of its size, 
Science Alert has an interesting report. The Juno probe was able to record the sounds emanating from Ganymede due to its electromagnetic waves. These recorded sounds obtained by the spacecraft were converted to a frequency that would make it audible for humans. The odd 50-second long recording has an ethereal, almost otherworldly ring to it. Juno was positioned at a distance of 645 miles from the Jovian moon, gushing past it with a rapid speed of 41,600 miles per hour as it picked up the sounds with an instrument known as waves. Waves operate by gauging radio and plasma waves in the magnetosphere of Jupiter. Juno holds all the thrilling promise to capture facets of Ganymede, which were previously undiscovered and which will offer tremendous feedback in terms of advancing the mission on Jupiter. Until next time!